Right, hello my bees. So I thought I'll do you a very quick update. As you can hear is windy it is windy as hell man. Uh, today is the second ruining my plans for today. Even though it's warm enough, and as you can see, as you can see, you know, it is warm enough for the bees to wake up effectively, right? It is not a good idea to be opening up beehives in this wind. What it could effectively do is, you know, the strong wind can effectively, you know, enter the beehive and cause a massive disturbance to the bees, stress them out, and yeah, really don't want to be doing that to them. And, you know, opening them up right now, that could only stimulate robberies as well, because now, you know, they've got their pheromones, which, you know, they predominantly work by right and you know the stronger wind will effectively you know spread across you know the other beehives you know the smell from the opened beehive and if it's let's say if it's a weaker family they could you know the other the other stronger families could sense it much much quicker because of the strong wind and um, effectively attack that beehive and I don't want to be doing that to them because you know my plan for today was not to open up each and every single one of them I, I only wanted to open up like let's say you know a couple from that row a couple from here and a couple from the you know the end ones over there and the idea was that I just simply wanted to get a you know just wanted to get a mate you know a general idea of what's going on in the beehives and where they're up to but now I see a little bit of you know um warming up in the weather right in the in the temperature and just look at that wait all right see these guys oh hi biggie two pack hey good boy all right so just look at this yeah look at how many are out and about and they're not really going for a flight because <laughs> My days, they're running, they're, they're running and barking because of the bees. You got stung, didn't you? you, you no, I think I think Super got stung. <laughs> you alright there, boy? Yeah, you did get stung. Oi, come here, come here. Yeah, Biggie got stung as well. <laughs> alright, boys. You had a bee on your back there, mate. So you're gonna learn to stay away from these guys now. No! Oh, he got my cable. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, what I wanted to show you is that, effectively... Oi, careful, boys. Uh, right, let's go towards, you know, the end ones. Sorry, the dogs are in my feet. It's hard to walk. Okay, so... See what's going on there? These are all signals that our hives might be developing earlier than, than what's the standard, you know, month of the year for that to happen. And yeah, just just look at look at what's going on there. That could be a little bit concerning, but I can't say, you know, for sure until I've opened them up and I've actually had a look to see what's going on. The uh, reason why I say that could be a little bit concerning is because we're not prepared, we're not ready for it and, you know, it could be a recipe for disaster too, you know, for them to be ready to start swarming and, you know, start the spring period of expansion, effectively, of the hive, you know, earlier than, than when it normally happens. So, today is not going to be the day, unfortunately, but tomorrow... I'm gonna, you know, because, you know, supposedly the forecast says it's gonna be much better tomorrow, you know, in terms of the winds. And um, that's when I'm actually going to open them up, have a look inside, see what's going on, and, you know, make a decision from there. You know, I'm trying to apply, you know, the luck around, you know, this end now. And um, as soon as I, as soon as I take the brush out with some lacquer on top of it, you know, the wind just blows it off the table straight towards the dogs or in any direction and i really don't want to be getting those but it, those little guys i just don't want to get any lacquer on them because it's not water based 
and it's going to be absolutely terrible if I get it on them so I'm not going to do that but what I've started doing instead is see them big piles of soil that we have well they're now starting to disappear because I'm starting to fill up you know starting to fill up the holes so I've done these two just look at that I really should not be here check what's going on that is crazy yeah there are really good signs for early development that's why I'm seeing just from you know looking from the outside without opening but tomorrow I'll be able to give you more concrete information guys I have literally seen a handful of beehives doing the process from last year if you remember called um, in flight so the in flight is effectively the new bees that have just hatched and um, you know they spend the first seven days do you know having duties inside inside the beehive like um, cleaning and fostering for the other larvae and uh, after about a week they will effectively come out the beehive and start flying with their face towards the beehive as you can see some of these guys are doing right they are flying pretty much in one place but facing the you know facing the the beehive so they are effectively doing the in-flight but then i also see you see how some bees are trying to they, they're trying to trying to get into these beehives but you know from the back you know from any way possible they can so what that means is that they are looking to invade this particular beehive they're looking for a way in and how to rob how to rob something a little bit of honey a little bit of pollen so that's you know that's one of the main reasons why i didn't want to open them open them up today because i really do not want to stimulate this thievery and yeah all right boys come here you feeling all right they didn't even they didn't didn't even swell from the bee stings which is very good sign they just um yeah just cried a little bit like a child and i took the i took the sting out and they were fine you know there is no no allergic reaction which is great so that means they're going to learn their lesson very very quickly they got stung twice probably another couple times and they will keep away from the beehives well that is it for now guys i'll hit you up tomorrow fingers crossed it should be much warmer than today and it should not be windy so fingers crossed it remains that way i should have some more exciting information you know for you with regards to the future of our beehives and i mean the very near future all right guys have a good day i'll speak to you in a bit